why was Elizabeth writing to the one the emperor? Yeah, why? Um, well, uh, at that moment, you know, uh, Britain has been a latecomer in trading with China, um, centuries behind the Portuguese, you know, um, uh, when they started the settlement in Macau in 1570s. And also centuries behind the Italians and other European neighbors, they've been sending missionaries to China and also towards the, the end of the 16th century, like Maturici was there the same year uh, when Elizabeth wrote the first letter, 1583. Yeah, so uh, the Britain has been just, um, they've been trying to trade and they realized, yeah, they are behind, so they thought, well, perhaps we should find a way, uh, maybe a shortcut, yeah, uh, to break the Portuguese uh, monopoly. Because at that time, you have to, when you want to go to sail to China, you have to go to Lisbon first, yeah. You have to get their approval. That's something Britain wouldn't like. They said, okay, the, the world, you know, the globe is round. We'll try to uh, uh, maybe go to the north. So that's why Elizabeth, yeah, he's got some, um, you know, people are very adventurous, yeah, and try to propose we can explore uh, a northwest passage or northeast passage, yeah, and they tried and they failed, yeah. So um, they keep trying, yeah. Um, so uh, the, 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 the third one, they, main, they went as far as um, uh, Hudson Bay in, uh, near Canada, but then they met with frozen seas that they couldn't get through. Uh, so they came back and the letter was brought back. So none of these letters actually reached the one the emperor then? Not rich, the one the emperor, but the interesting thing is, centuries later, you know, when Elizabeth II visited China as the first and only, you know, ruling sovereign of Britain, that's in 18, uh, 1986, she brought a photocopy of the second letter, yeah, uh, as a special gift to the Chinese government, uh, saying like, my ancestor have been trying to deliver this letter for <laughs> centuries, now it's finally being hand delivered by myself, yeah. That was the letter. 1580s, uh, 1596, and it was also a letter uh, to the Lancashire Archives. They did try to bring the 1602 letter because it was such a you know highly ornamented, as you can see from the, the picture. Yeah, every time we end for Majesty appeared, it's elevated and it's gilded in gold. Yeah, it's just uh, to to show you know the highest respect. Yeah, um, but then at that point, they realized the letter has been brought to China <laughs> one year earlier for a, a special occasion to celebrate the, the anniversary of Chinese historical archive. Mm. As I said, yeah, it would be yeah, better if the queen delivered the letter, so uh, she picked the second one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm.